Hi, I'm Scott Humphrey, CEO of the World Four Covering Association, and this is Leadership Live. So we're coming up on that time of year where I like to do what I call a checkup, an opportunity for us to look at what has worked this year and what hasn't. And if something hasn't worked, was it necessary? And if it wasn't necessary, then why did we spend the time on it? If it was necessary, what can we do to change it to make it a success next year? Listen, we offer a lot of resources at WFCA to help you, but one of the things I think that you've got to take advantage of if you're not doing so already is a new course that we're offering called Profit Matters. It's led by Steve Abernathy, who is the CFO of the WFCA, and Steve has this uncanny ability to break down financial terms into a way that we can understand them. So full disclosure, when I became CEO of the WFCA, I didn't understand finances like I needed to. I probably still don't. Luckily for me, I have a Steve Abernathy. You may not. But what Steve does in Profit Matters is breaks down not only the terminology, but the understanding of your finances so you can make sure that you're making money. I can't tell you the number of people in the flooring industry that have worked in it for years and felt like they were making money and at the end of the year wonder, where did it all go? And understanding those basics, they're important. Listen, when you're the leader, it's difficult to admit that you don't know something. And one of the greatest ways you can get that information is to go online and train yourself without ever having to raise your hand and say, I know I should know, but I don't. So I'm telling you, profit matters. You got to be there. November 30th is the next session. If you missed the one that occurred earlier this week on November 2nd, then you can go to our website, wfca.org, and check on that. So listen, one of my favorite leadership books of all time, and as we go over the next few weeks and I prepare you for this checkup and what 2022 will look like, I'll be diving into this book. It's called It's Your Ship. When people ask me my favorite leadership books, I always say the Bible because there's so many great examples of leadership. And secondly, I talk about this book. And I've got to tell you, Captain D. Michael Abershoff, who took over the Benfold uh, as the captain of that ship, at a time when it was one of the worst ships in the Navy from a performance standpoint and had the worst re-enlistment rate in the Navy. And he turned that thing around in a very short period of time. And he did it by using something that we all have available to us, but we often overlook, the power of questions. So you can imagine in the Navy, the guidelines and regulations under which you can work are pretty well determined for you. But even within those boundaries, by asking the right questions and allowing the people on the ship to own the success, he was able to change the future of that ship. In fact, it became the best reenlistment rate in the entire Navy and one of the top performing ships in the Navy in a very short period of time. So what were some of those questions? Well, when you think about a checkup on 2021, as we get ready for 2022 and we're making those new years or new life resolutions, whatever you want to call them, the first question you have to ask yourself is, what worked? Going into this year, what did I do that I've had success with? The second question, what didn't work? And why did I put the time into that? And was it even necessary? And then finally, if it was necessary, what can I do to make it work going forward? These are high level 30,000 foot view questions. And as we go forward in the weeks to come, I'm going to ask you to ask those questions, not only of your business, but of you as an individual. So here's the fact. We are trained to fail at New Year's resolutions. So start it now. And by the way, if you fail at your New Year's resolution, start it again. Do not let failure win. This is the year. As you close up this year, you get a head start, almost a free two months to create success for your future. This is the year you can change everything from a professional and a personal standpoint. Dare to ask questions of yourself. See what worked in the past. See what didn't. And if what didn't work is still essential, determine what it will take to find success. Get your team together, ask them, but more importantly, as a leader, get your journal, get a notebook, ask yourself those questions and write down the responses. Then, then you will be ready for an awesome 2022 and you'll be ready to go out there and lead.